Hello, what's up? Ali here for our new user's guide series and uh, this time for our jailbroken PS4. We'll try to answer the basic stuff of those who have just recently received their jailbroken PS4 or who have just uh, jailbroken their PS4. We will cover on this video how to navigate the, uh, the jailbreak, how to activate, how to format the, the USB in case you have uh, lost your USB dangle to activate your jailbreak and uh, how to install a new host. Uh, so let us start now with activating our jailbreak and uh, if you don't have a host yet or you are not satisfied with your host, uh, uh, I will show you how we can change the host. Uh, first, we have to make sure that we are properly connected to the internet and uh, also make sure we have a uh, proper DNS to prevent any unnecessary updates. Set up internet connection and uh, use whatever connection you are using. Uh, for now, I will use the LAN cable. Choose custom. IP address is automatic. And DNS setting is manual. So you have uh, to have uh, this DNS to uh, prevent any automatic updates from Sony. So I will just leave a link on the primary and the secondary uh, DNS on our description. Then uh, the rest are the default option or the default value. And once it's successful, we can uh, go ahead and navigate now on the internet browser. Here we can uh, simply delete all. So this is what we have to do every time we have uh, to change our host or update our host or reset our host. Anything that is related uh, to changing the host that we are currently using. So in case uh, you are not satisfied with your current host, you can change it and uh, try to uh, experiment with other hosts uh, which one you are having a better success rate with uh, but for now i will uh, provide you what i think is the best host right now so uh, press option on the internet browser then settings first we have to delete the cookies and the clear website data so on your browser enter this address and just choose uh, offline cache host and when you get to this part just insert your usb dongle don't press anything yet and uh, wait for the notification that will pop up on the upper left part of your screen. Okay, so once you have this uh, message, you just uh, press enter. And from here, we can either choose the manual or the automatic method. So for now, let us go ahead and uh, choose automatic method. And choose this one. This is what I prefer. And this has the latest gold hand version. And once you have or once you received this pop-up message, that means that your gold hand has been loaded and your PS4 is back to jailbreak. So just exit this page and you can go ahead and load your games. So what if you have lost your USB dongle? How can I make one or how can I prepare my USB to activate my jailbreak? So for this, we'll need a PC or a laptop and we have to download a specific file and of course our USB. So on our browser, just go to this website and you will find the links on our description. We need to download these two files. First is this xfatapico.image. So just open the link and click on this area and download. Next is our Win32 Disk Imager. So just click on the download part and wait for it to download. Now this Win32 Imager, you have to install this one. And once you have installed the program, just run the program. And here on the device, click here or choose here the device that you want to format as your dongle for your jailbreak. And once you have here your device, click here on this part and open the other file that you have downloaded. And once you have both stuff ready, just click on right. Make sure that you have uh, the right device here. You don't want to format the wrong device. And you have uh, here the exact image that we need. And once you have uh, both ready, just click on right. And yes. Next thing we need is uh, we have to thoroughly prevent or block any updates uh, that can occur to our PS4. So aside from using the NS, there is also an application that prevents all updates or that disables updates on our PS4. And to do that, we have to go back to our host and uh, choose disable update. So if you are using the automatic loads on your host, uh, you won't be able to uh, get to the menu. And to be able to get here, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, reset everything. Close window. Delete all. Go back to the settings. Clear, uh, delete cookies and uh, clear website data. Now let us enter the address here again. And from here, we can choose the manual host exploit menu. And choose the light host, manual method. 
Then on the menu, click here, disable update. This will prevent any updates. Even if you manually update your PS4, it will just block the update. So when it comes the time that you want to update your PS4, uh, whether there is a uh, new, more updated jailbreak, or you just want to go online, then you can just uh, enable your updates by uh, choosing this one. So for now, let us go ahead and disable our updates. So once you see this um, pop-up message, you know you can be at ease uh, that your PS4 won't have any updates. Uh. Okay, so let us go now on uh, what are the do's and don'ts uh, for your jailbroken PS4. Well, uh, basically the don't, let's start with the update. We can never update our PS4. Uh, one update will means that our PS4 cannot be jailbroken and we have uh, to wait for the next uh, for the next jailbreak. So how long do we have uh, to wait? Well, uh, the last jailbreak was 9.0 or the latest jailbreak we have right now is 9.0 and before that was 7.55. The amount of time that we have to wait between these uh, two jailbreak is around one year. But 9.0 was released uh, last year and we don't have any updates for the jailbreak yet. We may uh, be looking at around uh, two years uh, for the next jailbreak. So in case you update your PS4, you can't expect any updates or any new jailbreak for the next one or two years. So how do we know if there's a new jailbreak? So actually there are no season of when a, uh, a new jailbreak will come. We'll just have uh, to follow those uh, developers and wait for their updates or for their developments for the new jailbreak because no one can really tell when a new jailbreak will come. Let's proceed to the next question. Can I still use a CD? Uh, to play on my jailbroken PS4. Yes, I definitely you still can as long as your Blu-ray drive is still working. And also one more thing that we have to consider. If uh, you are going to play games that will require a higher firmware higher than 9.0 or any firmware that you are on right now, it will automatically update your PS4 if that game will require a higher firmware to work. All right, so let's proceed to the next question. So does jailbreak breaks the PS4? Well, basically no. There is no direct effect of a jailbreak breaking your PS4. But uh, since that activating your jailbreak can sometimes cause kernel panic, and uh, where the kernel panic is uh, the error that can occur if your jailbreak fails to activate. So sometimes it can render your PS4 to hang or restart. So what can we do to prevent this? Uh, the best way to prevent this is just update to the most stable update, which is 9.0. If you are still on 6.72, uh, most will definitely tell you that activating uh, the jailbreak on 6.72 6.72 is so much faster compared to 9.0 but 9.0 has a higher chance of, uh, of of success rate compared to 6.72 but if you are on 5.05 then uh, you may want to check it first if you are satisfied with your 5.05 then you may just stay there but if you're on 6.72 7.02 or 7.55 especially if you are on 7.55 there are no any reason to stay on that dreaded firmware just uh, update to 9.0 so i will just leave a link on our description ha, for the uh, full uh, tutorial how to update to 9.0 and uh, load the latest gold hen now another question that we have uh, kept on receding for the past years is ps4 auto vault <laughs> yes uh, it is there are some ps4 that has a 110 tag on it but uh, any ps4 you can use them on 110 or 220 but it is not advisable to plug them directly on uh, any outlet it is uh, very much advisable to at least uh, use a transformer that has a power regulator this will prevent any power surges uh, that can uh, uh, that can ruin your ps4 now another question um, how can we use uh, YouTube or Netflix or other uh, online services on our PS4, on our jailbroken PS4? We can download the Homebrew app here, the Homebrew store. I will just leave a link on our description where to download or how to download this. And here on the Homebrew store, we can look at the applications that we want to use on our jailbroken PS4. Click on the store groups. And uh, here we can uh, check on the utility. And here we have uh, all of the great applications that we can install on our PS4 or on our jailbroken PS4. Then aside from that, we can also go on the media. Here we can find the Twitch, Netflix, HBO, YouTube, or any streaming services that we can still use on a jailbroken PS4. Now, there will be some uh, cases where uh, when you load the game and uh, you're, you're, you will get an error messages that the user has been lagged out. And you get the error code 30391-6. Uh, so 
how can I uh, fix this issue? This is a CMOS issue or CMOS concern on our PS4. That means that our CMOS battery has died out. So what can we do to fix that? The only way to fix that is to update your PS4 to the latest firmware, sync your PS4 to the PSN, and from there it will sync the time and date but since we cannot do that on a jailbroken ps4 just uh, update your ps4 to, uh, to 9.0 and use the latest gold hen so if you are on 6.72 and lower and you don't want to update just simply use the latest gold hen it comes uh, with uh, the fix for this error so this is it for our video if you still have any questions or concerns so please go ahead and share them in our comment section and i will definitely address them and again this is ali if you found this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on the next one Bye bye